What's going on everybody? This is your boy Kareem Saunders, the teacher and professor, coming at you with another video. Uh, today we're just going to discuss a, uh, a topic that's been pretty popular for a long time as far as you know anybody who does t-shirts uh, or anything like that as far as decorating garments, but particularly t-shirts. And it is when the customer asks for a sample of a t-shirt, okay? When you know you're getting ready to, when you're dealing with a customer yeah, and you go through the whole process of, um, you know, the whole consultation and, you know, what they want, things like that. And then later it comes up, later in the process it comes up, well, hey, you know, uh, do I get a, you know, do I get a sample shirt? Now, to that I say, typically, see, my process, what I like to do is I like to uh, do a, um, a mock-up. A mock-up using you know my graphic design software which I use Photoshop and Illustrator so typically that that's what I do anyway like I always part of my process is I always give a mock-up design to show to the to the client uh, and that, that's just something that I, that I do um, and if you guys are not doing it out there as far as t-shirt makers you need to you need to start doing it if you haven't been doing it you need to start if you're doing it keep doing it but anyway so uh, you know, they'll ask you and, and I say, okay, that, that's fine. No, I say, you know, you'll always get to see it. Like I provide you a digital copy. I'll provide you a digital copy of what the shirt will look like with the design on it. So it'll look realistic and the color shirt that you're going to get. <coughs> so I let them know. Um, but occasionally, and, and most people are okay with that. But occasionally, occasionally you will get that, that, you know, person or persons that say, well, you know, I, I'd really like to, you know, I really like to put my hands on it. You know, I like to see it in person. You know, I'm a visual person. I want to touch. I want to feel it. All right. So this is where the, the potential dilemma comes in because depending on the type of how intricate the design is, because I, I use two methods. I use two methods of print and I use, uh, uh, heat transfer, plastisol heat transfers, which is the alternative to screen printing, and I use uh, vinyl. So if I get a design that's you know pretty simplified, one maybe two colors at the most, and I get someone who says they like to see uh, they like to see it in person. Okay, that's fine. If it's two colors and it's not too intricate of a of a design that I can actually get away with doing a mock-up with vinyl, then uh, then that's something that I can do that. However, you know, you always want to set the expectation that, okay, you know, this is still utilizing my time, my, my materials and things like that. So if you don't want to do, if you don't want to just settle for a digital design mock-up, then I'm going to have to, you know, charge you a, a, a fee. You know what I mean? Because if nothing else, you know, because if you decide that you don't like the shirt, if they decide that they don't like the shirt, you know, at least you know, you're, you're not out of anything. You know what I mean? You spent, you spent your time, you spent your, um, your material and then they, they compensated you for it. So always throw that out there, out there up front. You know, if they want an actual, uh, t-shirt that they can touch, you know, see and things like that, that's tangible, let them know, set the expectation. Okay, we can do that. The, the, the digital copy is free, but the, um, this live, sample is going to be you know there's going to be a fee associated with that so um you know i've never you know up to this point i haven't had any any issues with it but that's just something that you want to make sure that your customers know uh you know just just kind of set that expectation but now i will say i mean if they don't bring it up if they don't bring up the the need for a live sample then 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 don't and and what i was going to say about um now, of course, if it if it's, they want to see if they want to see something that's you know if they if the design is real just super intricate and it has like a bunch of colors and, and, and layers and stuff like that and it's just super duper, I wouldn't recommend um, it, because for the most part you're going to end up doing that as a as a screen print you know or plastic salt anyway. So there's not really a way that you can um, it's not really a way that you can provide a mock-up, a real live mock-up that's going to be cost efficient. It's just not because, you know, 
Yeah, you'll you'll be you'll be you know digging yourself into a big wormhole, uh, a big hole with that, a big rabbit hole, because you're gonna mess around and have to jump through all kind of hoops just to get that that one design made. And there's nowhere that you can ever go that you can just uh, get one. You know that you. I mean, now of course, if you do, if you are a screen printer. Then you can you can make the screen. You can just make the screens, screen or screens, and then you know that that's that that's just your prerogative. But I don't use screen printing. I use the alternative, which is Plastisol. And any company that I've ever dealt with, as far as Plastisol vendors, you can't get just you know they they're, they're not going to do just one uh, just one uh, sheet. So, but that wouldn't be cost effective. But anyway, it, you just got to kind of gauge it based on the job. So you got to take it. On the case by case scenario, it's good if you, you know, it's good if you, uh, if you can, if you can offer it and then fulfill that that need to for them to see a visual of it. But if they don't bring it up, I mean, I wouldn't bring it up. Um, but if they do, then just set the expectations that if you, if you use vinyl, then you know it's going to be a fee and different things like that. And if they want to proceed, then then fine. But I suggest shying away from that if you know that it is a uh, really intricate design and you don't have the means to create just one at a time so just kind of keep that in mind anyway so um, I hope that helped um, you know there's been another been another video from yours truly the t-shirt professor I just wanted to kind of put that out there because it is something that floats around from time to time that people want a shirt uh, that they can look at and see before they commit to the long haul okay so I hope this helped I hope you got some value out of it just feel free to subscribe hit that button over there to the left in that left hand corner down there and you know leave me some comments you know like it share it and you know just comment just let me know what other kind of videos you would like to see especially if you're just starting off like I said th these videos are for you guys who are just starting off or may you know just need a little bit of direction um, you know, so just let me know, man. I'm here to help you. I'm the t-shirt professor, and I'm signing off. Um, hope to hear from you guys. Hope to see you guys even sooner. Uh, as usual, happy t-shirt printing, guys. Peace.